So what's up guys, I am back and today I'm going to show you 50 plus hidden features in iOS 12. Now first of all, you get grouped notifications. This is the first, this is what we wanted in iOS from years and we finally got it. Now when you tap on them, they actually expand and show all the notifications from a particular app. If you 3D touch them, you can click on the three dots and from here you can just directly turn off the notifications. So you don't have to go inside of settings, you can just directly click turn off right here and turn off notifications for that particular application and this is pretty cool now when you unlock the phone the other thing you may notice with the app switcher is actually now you don't have to hold the apps in order to kill I mean just swipe them up and you can just easily kill it. Now you guys may remember back in iOS 11 when we wanted to look up for a word's meaning, when we clicked on look up it gave up Safari searches instead of the meaning for the word. Well that's fixed in iOS 12. We can actually select a particular dictionary by going to general, scrolling down dictionary and you have three new dictionaries, a new Oxford dictionary too so that's pretty cool. Now when you click in you can just install it like you did back in the day and from here you can just select as many as you want and as I said there are three new so that's a pretty cool thing. Now this new Oxford dictionary has I mean it's a small dictionary and has all the meanings so when you go back to find a meaning of a word you click on look up. Now there's multiple dictionary support so when you click on look up you don't only get the dictionary you downloaded but the other two which you can select. Now there are a few quirks inside of settings too so your VPN has finally moved out you can turn it around right here and notification has a revamp as I said you can actually change and turn off notifications right from the lock screen you can still do it from inside here and there's not much change inside of notifications though sounds are not only sounds now there are sounds and haptic if you scroll down you can actually turn on the haptic feedback off and on depending on the phone you have so if you have iPhone 6 or later you can turn it off and you won't get the haptic feedback that you got before though I'll suggest leaving it on because it's a cool feature to have and that's what Apple made it for so it's pretty cool I do not disturb actually can now pair with bedtime so you can see this new notification on the lock screen that you get when you have do not disturb turned on and this just bundles up all the notifications and if you pair it with bedtime you won't get any notification at all so it's a nifty feature you can just pair it there it'll track your sleep and all that stuff and I think it's it's really cool to have this feature finally on iPhone now there is a new tab you may know about it screen time now screen time is something that tracks your usage not just the battery percentage but the applications you visit the most, the application, you get notifications from most. If you click on the top section right here, you can actually see, you can go in here and you can see all the tracking regarding which app you use the most, what kind of app is, what genre it is, and from here you can see the notifications, the apps you get notifications most from, and it's actually pretty cool. Now there are four new sections, one of them is actually restrictions, so you can actually restrict yourself from using an application for a particular time. For example, you want to use Instagram for one hour only and you can restrict yourself by doing that and after that your Instagram will lock out and you have to enter the passcode. You can do it for anything, games, applications, so you can actually lock out your kids if you don't want them to use the applications for like more than three or four hours a day and actually it's pretty cool and nifty feature you can just set a timer and it'll bing and lock the application now there's allowances too so you can actually select the particular applications you want to allow other people or yourself to use to same here you just can set a passcode here and you can just select the application so once your phone locks out from the restrictions you can actually select the applications you want to reuse like phone messaging or like facetime and you can just select any application from the drawer you have so that's a pretty cool feature and the last one right here is like restrictions for certain features it's called content and privacy so you can lock out certain features and restrict people from using those certain features it's pretty cool now the best part about screen time is actually it supports family sharing so if you set up a timer and a schedule on one device if you have the same Apple account on all the devices it'll just sync and work out on all the Apple devices in a similar way and iBooks are not called iBooks anymore they're called Apple books and just books. Wise Memo's got a new icon so when you click on it you'll actually see this is the only application in the entire update that got a redesign and an overhaul. Now the recorder comes up from the bottom instead of from the top. It's a more cleaner and less distracting look than before. The wavelength is in a different color now. It's, it's really cool. And when you click on it you can directly save it. Like before you had to go a double check you had to save it give it a name and that was a long process but now all you have to do is just click on stop and it'll automatically save there's a new player for voice memo so you can just go back and forth if you have a long recording now you can actually change the compression 
by going to settings and going to voice memos, you can actually change it, the, the, the format and the default saving options. So you can get a double check like before. Now you may know there's a new measure application that uses ARKit. It's pretty cool. You can actually change the units to metric or imperial depending what you want. It's a great application, only works with devices that actually support AR. Now Stocks also got support for Apple News. So when you click on it, you'll be grunted and greeted with Apple News regarding stocks and it's pretty cool now you can actually see you have all the stocks detail if you go scroll down right here you'll get news regarding stocks all the stuff but if you go back just to view the stocks you can see it's in full screen right when you actually swipe it from the bottom just look at the top if I swipe up real quick it goes to this floating format it's really cool now messages app didn't get an update itself but there's a new feature for all the iPhone 10 users it's called Memoji. Now there are two animojis added. One of them is actually a ghost. If you scroll down right here, you can see you get this ghost right here and you also get a koala. Now the best feature, like the best update to animoji was the fact like these animals finally have a tongue. They didn't have it before, so it's it's finally there. Now you can actually, as I said, have a memoji. It's like a bitmoji. So when you click on this plus icon right here up front, that's the first thing right here. You can click on get started and you can make your own Memoji. There's tons of customizations in here. So you can just choose the skin color you want. You can actually become like Hulk here real quick. It's really cool. So you can just select the skin color. You can select if you have freckles or not. And I don't have them. So you're just going to go to this hairstyle section. And there are tons of hairstyles. And you can change the color of your hair too. That's pretty cool. So you can just go right here. Let's say for the sake of the video, my hairstyle is actually like this. Next up, you can actually change the shape of your face. That's a pretty cool thing to do. Like you can just make yourself fatter or slimmer, depending on what you actually are. From here, I'm just gonna select this one right here. Next section is actually regarding the eyes. You can change the color of your eyes, the size. You can apply makeup. Like at one point, this does get pretty intense. You can like, apply makeup and all that stuff. It's really cool. Now, next thing is actually the shape. Of the nose no this is the shape of the nose and from here you can actually change the shape of her lips the color and all that stuff next up you can actually wear spectacles or glasses if you have them and after that you actually change your ears and you can also change your facial hair and apply it depending on if you have it or not though it's pretty cool you can just get many kinds of facial hair right here next up you can actually change and wear like a hat or a turban there are all kinds of stuff so for policemen you can have the police hat or like a magician hat, all the stuff is here and it's a pretty cool thing. So once you're done, click on the done button and you can actually edit it anytime you want. So if you're not like liking it, you can go back and edit it. That's pretty cool and you can record a video and send it to anybody. Now Apple did promise us a shortcuts application for Siri. It's not here yet. We'll actually see it in future betas down the road. But if you go to settings, Siri and suggestions, you can actually change and add some shortcuts. There are a few of them right now. I guess they'll actually push them with future updates. It's pretty cool. Now, if you open up Control Center, you'll actually see there's a new toggle that looks like a QR code. When you click on it, it opens the camera application. So you can just read QR codes directly from the camera application. The feature was already there. The toggle is finally added. Now, there's AirKit 2. This is the second version. So it brings in multiplayer support. So if you can play application, like three people can just simultaneously pair a similar application from their own perspective. It's a really cool thing. It's down the road. You'll see it by fall. I mean, applications will take support by fall, though it's there. Now, one feature inside of the camera application in Messages is you can actually add up your Memoji or your Animoji to your own picture. And I guess it's a really cool feature. You can just take a picture. You can just cartoonize yourself give yourself these all new cool effects and take a picture from there you can add stickers and all that stuff and you can just simply mark up add drawings and send it to anybody you want now there's no new change or no new spotlight effect or no new message sending effect we got a lot of them in ios 11 betas that came later on so we'll actually get new ones in later betas. and now there's this new tab called for you inside of the photos application that actually groups all the videos and pictures in which you are and you can actually add a student id pass inside of the wallet app for select universities you don't have to carry or if you forget your id pass at home you can just show it in your phone now the activity app on app Apple Watch got a lot of new updates to the health app only gets a new digital medical ID which was not there before but it's now here. Now when you connect your phone via lightning cable to your computer or Mac, 
you get used to get this uh, trust or do not trust thing before just gonna unlock my phone here real quick so once you unlock your phone you get this trust or do not trust when you click on trust you have to enter a passcode from now and FaceTime is totally redesigned you can actually FaceTime up to 32 people and create this group chat and chat with people add people take them out and if you don't want to chat with your own face you can just add an any emoji or me emoji and the other people can do that too. It's, it's pretty cool and you can add all the filters. Now if you recall the keynote, Apple put a lot of pressure on fingerprinting regarding the MacBooks. Well that feature is on the iPhones too. Apple didn't put in the keynote though. Well there is secure encrypting and like they won't get a lot of cookies and all that stuff. So your phone will be secure while surfing on the Safari or on the internet. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Links for how to install or downgrade iOS 12 are down below the like button. Give this video a big thumbs up. Peace.